third graders, it's Mrs. Compton, and today we're going to try out a story problem. So I know a lot of us adopted puppies and dogs and probably some kittens too over quarantine. So today we've got a story about Jason's family having a new puppy. All right, so here we go. Jason's family has a new puppy. Jason takes a turn walking the puppy once a day. How many times will Jason walk the puppy in four weeks? Okay, so what do we know for sure in this story? Okay, so we know for sure that he's walking the puppy once a day. And we know for sure the question is asking us about how many times Jason will walk the puppy in four weeks. So we have to figure that out. Now, how many days are in a week? It doesn't tell us that, but that's a fact that we should know, right? So we have to know that there are seven days in a week. So let's see here. I have this green square, and I think, let's see, I can lay out seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, one more, seven. And that would represent one week of walking, right? But we have to find out about four weeks. So we have to make four groups of seven. So we're trying to solve four times seven equals what? Whoa, <laughs> equals what? All right, so let's check this out. Let's see if I can move this down a little bit so it's less squished. There we go. So this is one week. And let's see. This would be what? This would be two weeks, right? So you probably already know what 7 plus 7 is, right? It's 14. So 7 times 2 equals 14. Let's go ahead and throw in the 7 times 1 equals 7, too. Why not? So we've got 7 times 1 is 7. Two groups of 7 makes 14. And then we could add another row to make three weeks. But we're trying to figure out what four weeks is. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and double this one. So we're doubling that 14, right? So since we doubled the 14, we could just think about it as 7 times 2 is 14. And then another 7 times 2 is 14. Add those together. And what do you get? 28, right? So you could think about it like this, using a fact that you know. 7 times 2 is 14, so 7 times 4 is 28. It's just twice as much, right? Now, you might look at it another way, too. So I want to look at it one more way because lots of kids that I talk to actually use a little bit of a different way of thinking about it. Lots of kids that I know actually use their fives. Because fives are kind of like a friendly number. You learn how to count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, right? So right now we're looking at a 4 by 7 array. True story, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, perfect. So a lot of kids that I talk to will actually say, well, I know what 4 times 5 is. And they'll go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then they'll cut it off right here. And so basically, they're breaking that 7 into a 5 and a 2. 4 times 5 equals 20. You can probably count by 5s, right? Let's count them. 5. Oops, I should be going the other way. 5, 10, 15, 20. And then we have to do 2 times 4 because we have to get these groups of two counted up. So you probably already know what that is, right? Two times four or four times two, same thing, is gonna give you eight. All right, so we broke the seven into a five and a two. A lot of kids use that to make it a friendlier number. And then you, at the end, you just add them all together and you get what? 28. So there's lots of different ways that you can break it apart an array, break apart an array. So in this case, we separated out the seven into a five and a two. But then in another case, we actually looked at it as a doubles fact, breaking apart the four, right? So there's lots of things that you can do. 
So we broke it apart into a 2 and a 2. And we knew 2 times 7 was 14. And then another 2 times 7 was 14. And you can count the squares to prove that, right? If you counted each and every square, you'd count to 28. So no matter what way you look at it, 4 times 7 is a whopping 28. So Jason's putting some wheels on those legs. He's taking that dog out for 28 walks in a month. All right, kids, I'll see you next time. Bye.